this is Anka Shivani Gupta. I am here at the India's most prestigious event, Anicon 2022, in the city of Joy, Kolkata. And here I have. Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Anumesh Kaur. I'm a neurologist from Kolkata. I'm practicing in RN Tagore Hospital, NH Artix. Right, sir. And we at IPCA, we are. Uh, you know, uh, starting a revolution against winning over epilepsy. So, sir, uh, how far do you think that, uh, you know, uh, unawareness is one of the reason of, uh, you know, upcoming epilepsies uh, in, in India? Yeah, if you look at it, uh, there is a lot of treatment, there is a major treatment gap because one cause is lack of awareness people are not aware about the symptoms of epilepsy so more awareness campaigns should be done more things should be done so that people can be can come to the know the what, what are the epilepsy symptoms second thing is the stigma even now if we consider epilepsy is still thought as a disease which is familial so people feel that if someone from the family is having an epilepsy, they may have still have problems in marrying their daughters because people think that it, people has got epilepsy. The third thing is cost regarding the treatment, cost regarding MRI, CT scans. And there are many pe pe people who stay in villages who are not really aware and who are not sure what the symptoms are. And another thing is who, whom, whom should they con refer or whom should they consult when the when they're having these sort of symptoms so these are the things that should be looked at very seriously right sir so, uh, and uh, i would like to know that people who are dealing with epilepsy at the moment can they lead a normal life yeah i want to say one thing that uh, when i was a child uh, around uh, 11 12 years i myself had uh, several bouts of epilepsy so somehow without at that time it was in uh, early 90s 1991 so the treatment modalities were not available much there were not much drugs so somehow i got cured but there is a vast segment of pa patients who are not lucky like me so they need treatment and uh, treatment should be offered to everyone and they should be given and this promotion should be done that one thing is treatment should be done now why treatment is needed for epilepsy See, epilepsy is not a disease <coughs> like stroke. Right. Epilepsy is a disease which can occur anywhere, anytime. Now, the aftermath of epilepsy is very important. What happens if, if you are having an epileptic attack, for two minutes it's okay. But in those two minutes, if you are on the middle of, in the middle of a road, if bike comes, hits you, a bus comes, hits you, if you are traveling by a river, one of my epilepsy patients came to me. He was riding a bicycle, and one of his uh, his mother was sitting behind him, and he had an epileptic fit. And both both of them plunged into the river, and uh, fortunately they were saved by someone. So these two minutes, life and death, this decision can be can happen. Another thing that is very important is if the seizure is not being subsided by two minutes, if it goes on for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. There can be permanent damage of the brain. So a disease which is deadly. Why it is deadly? Because one, you lose your consciousness all of a sudden, just out of the blue, you don't know where you are. Out of the blue, you don't you have an attack and you can anything can happen to you. And second thing, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour, your life can be changed. So this is a very important disease because this is not any other disease like stroke, heart attack, whatever may be, like fever, this is not like that. You are having a headache, if you are not treating it, it is okay. But if you are having an epileptic attack and if, if, if it's bad, if you are unlucky, your whole life can, it can be doomed by those 2 minutes or 15 minutes. So it's very important that patients are getting proper treatment. Rightly said, sir. So uh, I would like to know that uh, does epilepsy hits only on certain age or it can hit on any age, like any particular age? Well, this can happen uh, in, at any 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 age because uh, what I say to my patients is that uh, it's like a paroxysmal electrical discharge that occurs in brain. So in child, it's one variety. In young ages, it's one variety. In adults, in it's another variety. In old elderly people, what happens is the brain gets damaged. So if we look at old houses, old houses can have short circuits all of a sudden. 
so in el- elderly also if someone is having a little bit of uh, lowering of sodium if someone is having fever he can suddenly have any epileptic attack right. and so one last thing which i would like to ask you one a uh, message for all the po- people who are suffering with epilepsy yeah there is only one message that you should take the disease very seriously you should treat with proper medications another thing regarding the medication if you miss a dose of antihypertensive if you miss a dose of diabetes nothing will happen but if you miss even a single dose if the timing is changed by one or two hours an epileptic fit can occur so what is very important is the timing should be perfect the timing of taking the medicine it's it's like the alarm clock it, the bell rings you need to take the medicine or your life may be in danger thank you thank you so much sir thank you for joining ipka